Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to set up Swagger with Infium Generator in Laravel application. When we work on mobile API and we need to share API docs with mobile developer, then we need to create API docs and we are creating Google Docs or something else. Also, we creating Swagger manually and it take a lot of time but Infium generator can save your time because Infium generator provides Swagger support and when you generate API that time it's automatically generate a Swagger annotation but just you need to install some package and also you need to own Swagger in Laravel config file of Infium generator so let's take a tutorial of Swagger and I hope you all familiar with Swagger Swagger is a provider documentation and good UI and you can create documentation directly here but you can direct generate the documentation in the API so you no need to write manually and generator provide automatically so it's save your lots of time so let's start it officially documentation given here in generator option you can found swagger inside API generator option and here is the package which you need to add in composer.json file so let's edit and add this package here and you need to add this both package in this section so let's edit here save and just fire composer update command I miss something let's check it I had one comma that's why I got error let's fire it again you can see here dependencies install let's take next step now we need to publish the vendor with this provider so let's publish it let's clear it and fire this command and you can see config file is published and next step is we need to own swagger in config file so let's open laravel config file you can found inside infium directory and just find swagger and you need to make it true laravel config file provide by default false So swagger setup is done. Let's create one API. PHP artisan in Fume call an API. Let's zoom it. Category specify name database type is thing let's exit the process and run migration so API is created let's open api.php file and you can see here path is available
and here is a controller and you can see here swagger annotation is generated with all the methods now let's open first swagger config file and here is all the configuration and you can change this configuration based on your requirement you can use this path for generate swagger from annotation and here is a uh, auto generate is true so no need to fire this route in our browser because it's automatically generated but if you specify here false then you need to open this routes in browser and generate manually so automatically is good for developing time so it's every time generated let's open this route in browser but we need to make some change before run this route in this config file api prefix is api and api version is v1 and one more thing is let's open our out service provider first so i can easily explain you this needs to be set here make sure if you set or not if you are using infium generator and that's provided here in installation steps but one more thing is you need to do if you set you need to specify here v1 because in this config file v1 is a api version and swagger use as a prefix so you need to change in route service provider so let's start the server first and open the swagger specify api docs and you can see here swagger docs is ready with five apis categories create categories get single categories update categories and delete categories and swagger is a very good and powerful tool so you can test it from here so let's create one category first and try to create one category let's remove this time because created and and updated it created it and updated it automatically inserted by laravel so let's try to create and you can see here one category is created let's try to execute this api and you can see here the response let's get single you just need to specify id here and execute it and you can see at the response let's delete it just specify id and execute and you can see your category is deleted successfully so you can easily create the documentation and 
you don't need to do anything just you need to set up swagger with npm generator and generate api with npm generator so it's ready for deliver to mobile developer so you can see it the parameter and also see it the response so it's very easy thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel feel free to ask any question and give feedback in comment box thank you